Hello and welcome to Harris Westminster Sixth Forms Maths Faculty. I'm Adam Gorman, the Head of Maths and Physics at HWSF, and I'm sorry I can't meet you in person. Instead, I've recorded a video. Today we'll discuss the content and structure of the A-Level Maths course, the A-Level Further Maths course, and the Core Maths qualification. I'll also tell you why I think HWSF is a great place to learn and do mathematics. Before we move on, I'd like to invite you to look at the image in the left-hand corner of the screen. Some of you may recognise this as a screenshot of a Simpsons episode. What you may not know is that many of the writers of The Simpsons are in fact mathematicians, who did their degrees at very prestigious universities in the US, including Caltech, Princeton and Harvard. And as a result, the series is littered with mathematical references. In this case, the writers have chosen three numbers very carefully, as they are of interest to mathematicians for different reasons. You may wish to pause the video now and consider why those numbers could be interesting. Or you could wait for us to come back to it. In the meantime, let's move on and discuss the courses. A-level maths is the most popular A-level in the country, and the most popular A-level in the school, with over 200 students doing it in each year group. It's a very helpful A-level to do if you take other subjects like biology, chemistry, physics or economics. And in fact, if you choose to study two sciences at Harris Westminster Sixth Form, we will require that you do a maths course, either A-level maths or core maths. It is also worth noting that A-level maths is often a requirement at degree level. And so I would spend some time, if I were you, checking out various degree entry requirements before making your four A-level choices. The A-level maths course is comprised of approximately two thirds pure maths and one third applied maths. The pure maths will start with subjects with which you are familiar, like algebra and geometry, and build on those. Later, you'll be introduced to new content, such as exponentials and calculus. The applied part of the course is split into two. Mechanics concerns how things move, while statistics is all about information. It's worth noting that you would have to have a seven or better at GCSE to choose A-level maths at HWSF. And a reminder, as I said, you must take a maths course if you choose two science A-levels. Further maths is an A-level in its own right. All further maths students also pick single maths. And so if you choose further maths, you'll find approximately half your timetable is spent in the maths faculty. This is great news for people who love maths. I should also point out that if you choose further maths, all your lessons will be with students who also chose further maths. You may have several different teachers and they will deliver both courses simultaneously. You may therefore find that a few months down the line, you know different content from the single course to the single students. The requirements to study further maths A-level at HWSF are an eight in GCSE maths or better. This reflects that the course is slightly more challenging than single maths, but I'd be wary of saying it was much harder as I'd hate to put you off it. I prefer to think of it as more maths rather than harder maths. The course is rarely a requirement for degrees. However, it is becoming far more common to see it as a preference or a strong preference. For example, if you wish to study computing at Oxford or economics at LSE, further maths is all but essential. The structure of the course is marginally different to the single maths course in that half of it is pure maths. Most of that content simply builds upon the single maths content, but there is some new stuff too, like complex numbers and matrices. The other half of the course is applied, and at HWSF you will continue to study statistics and mechanics, building on the content you learned from single maths. Core maths is a slightly different type of qualification in that it is only one year long, 
and equivalent to an AS level. It may be that it is chosen by students who are studying two sciences but do not wish to commit to full A-level maths, or students who feel they would like to continue to study maths at some level but don't have a 7 in their GCSE. As you can see from the content list, there are some interesting things covered, including personal finance. So, back to the contents. We've discussed the three courses, but what else do we offer at HWSF? You may be aware of things like societies at the school. Well, the maths faculty supports students in running several math societies, the engineering society and the computing society. We also offer university preparation classes for the various entrance exams for courses in the most prestigious universities. On top of this, we support in the delivery of things like bridge and chess club, and also provide an extracurricular extension class for the most able mathematicians every year. So, back to the Simpsons and our numbers. Well, I'm not going to talk you through exactly what these are, because then I'd be doing your job for you. But, I'll tell you that one of these numbers is called a Mersenne prime. That means it's a prime number, a specific type of prime number. And so you should be able to guess which one that is. One of them is called a perfect number. And one of them is called a narcissistic number. And while these two things are not related as such, there is an interesting phenomenon here. Mathematicians, understand that there is a finite number of narcissistic numbers. We know them all. Whereas we don't know if there is a finite number of perfect numbers or not. That is to say, there may be infinitely many perfect numbers, but we don't know that. And this is quite an interesting proposition. We've known about perfect numbers for over 2000 years, and yet we are still unable to fully understand them. I'll leave it at that for you to go and do some more research yourselves. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the maths faculty, please don't hesitate to get in contact with the school. Have a lovely day, Mr Gorman. <laughs>